The wine business sure is sweet. Each month, wine sales net billions of dollars, and the market in Yuma is no exception. We uh, have done very well, especially in the evening hours. The wine bar atmosphere has really caught on. Fred Earl is owner and winemaker of the Main Squeeze, the only custom winery in Yuma. We make all of our wines right here on premise. Uh, we import grapes from all over the world. We don't do any local uh, growing and uh, we get the grape musk and we turn it into wine right here and serve it or send it home with you. The Main Squeeze offers 51 flavors of wines that will tickle your taste buds squeezed from Italian grapes, some French, but also uh, South American grapes and of course a lot from California, Washington State. With our rich agriculture in Yuma County, some are trying to grow wine grapes here. We have had people come in and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm experimenting. I planted some Pinot Noir grapes out. I believe it's out in the Welton area. There's a lot of dates out by Dateland, or if there has been. Um, about Palm Springs are a lot of grapes. Somebody else came in and said that they uh, were planting a Merlot grape just to see how it would do, and it will be interesting to see how they do. To explore the sweet and sour of harvesting wine grapes, we turn to Dr. Kurt Nolte with the University of Arizona. Dr. Nolte says while table grapes grow just fine, wine grapes need a little extra time to reach just the perfect taste something our hot summers won't allow for. Well, a quality wine grape requires uh, sugar and acid. And because we have so much heat and so much sun, that, that makes the grape uh, mature too quickly. And so we get an excessive amount of sugar in the grape, but not enough acid. And the acid provides the flavor in the wine. However, Dr. Nolte is not squashing the potential. Uh, we've had some growers, uh, very successful growers, in growing table grapes. However, the wine grape industry has, has uh, really not uh, uh, gained a foothold here in the desert because of the quality of the grape. There's a potential perhaps to uh, evaluate new varieties of wine grapes to see if, it, if they would be more adapted to uh, our desert climate. Dr. Nolte has tips for those interested in uncorking the potential. First, find the right variety of grapes. Then, work with a winery to taste test the wine produced from grapes his team is also available for research. And our mission is to um, assist area growers uh, grow and manage their crops uh, better. So we have a, a whole line of faculty here that assist uh, local area growers with that very purpose. And so um, if someone is interested in doing any work with us regarding wine, grapes in particular, they could contact us and we could work together with the uh, budget, uh, for example, and find out exactly what they need and uh, we could assign some faculty to, uh, to help them.